Hi guys and welcome to my channel. A little bit of a different decor today because I'm visiting my parents. So it's been a year since uh, I started this YouTube channel and uh, I mostly upload uh, tutorials where I just talk about sort of my process for any specific flower or bird or whatever it is that I'm painting. But as some of you know, I also do a lot of commercial work. So I thought this week, uh, to kind of mark the one year anniversary of my channel, I thought I would share a video that was done by my friend Blake recently, where I talk more about my approach to art, my influences when I started, uh, and some of the commercial projects that I'm busy with. Blake is an amazing videographer from Toronto, and he did such a great job with this. Um, I feel like I'm bragging a little bit but uh, I thought I should share because for some of you it might be interesting. If uh, you have any questions just uh, leave a comment below. Enjoy if you want to learn a little bit more about me, my career as an illustrator, and uh, I will be back next week with a new watercolor tutorial. In the meantime take care of yourselves and uh, keep creating. I'll see you guys soon. Hi my name is Anna. I'm a professional illustrator. I live in Toronto. Uh, my background is actually Ukrainian. I design money for the government of Canada, among other things. My inspiration probably comes, uh, most of it comes from my training in traditional Eastern European folk art. So you'll see a lot of the decorative pieces, like the ones that appear on coins. I also do a lot of watercolors and uh, I teach, I teach uh, lots and lots of students uh, online uh, through a Skillshare platform. I also have a YouTube channel. I've always painted um, as a child and um, I primarily used gouache and like whatever basic art supplies I had uh, back home growing up in Ukraine. Since moving to Canada, um, more than 20 years ago. I actually didn't paint for a long time. It wasn't my focus for for the longest time. And uh, I started, uh, I picked up a brush again when I was uh, pregnant with my first kid and uh, tried watercolors. And I had a lot more time obviously to spare um, and to think and um, kind of focus on things that I really, really enjoyed. And so um, went to art stores, picked up some supplies and I was absolutely blown away by um, just the sheer amount of beautiful things available, um, like the high quality art supplies, the paper, ink, watercolors. So I, I wanted to try them all suddenly and uh, I started again and uh, quickly uh, became um, obsessed with watercolors actually. Art is not about the final result, but it's about the process of creating art. 